Hello everybody, in this video demo, I would like to demonstrate a process of modeling a conceptual hair dryer using Rhino. Okay, let's start. Okay, what I have created is a set of curves that will roughly form the shape of the design. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do next is to refine the curves so that we can build good surfaces from them okay so what i'm going to do is um turn on the curvature graph okay and i reckon that if i were to rebuild using the degree 5 curve the graph might show um, better smoothness so let's type the review and change the degree to 5 from 3 and increase the, the point count okay click OK okay you can see now that the curvature graph is showing a smoother curve okay let's do the same for the bottom curve okay so I'm going to type the review And I think I'm okay with the deviation. Click OK. Okay. Seems quite okay. Okay, now I'm going to create a circle here and another circle here. They will form the cross section of the main body. Okay. And I will want to use the circle diameter okay okay you notice that it's very hard to get this done in this view okay so what I'm going to do is place two points here that uh, snap at the intersection of the curves And then use the two points to create our circle. Okay, so now we, the object set only have the step to point turn on, and let's select the circle using diameter. Okay, and then do it in the right view. Okay, yeah. So I got this first circle, and let's repeat the process. Okay, I can delete this. I don't need this anymore. Okay. points okay and then draw circle again okay great we got it okay and let's review these uh, curves from degree 2 to degree 5 okay so review and I think Let's see if I use eight one C. Okay, so maybe I will use point count eight. Okay, and do the same for the back. Okay. Okay, now let's build the the main body. Okay, and I will want to do that using sweep two rail. Okay, so first rail, second rail, cross section, cross section. Let's move this seam mark to here. Okay. And click OK. Okay. So we got the main body. And let's proceed to build the handle. Okay. And let's Rebuild them to degree 5. Okay.
I will need more control points over here. Okay, I think I can accept this value. Okay, clear, okay. Okay, as uh, this line was drawn in a non-accurate manner, I will want to be able to have another line that is more or less more perpendicular to this curve, okay? These two curves. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a twin curve here, okay? So I'm going to type the twin curves and then select the start and end curves and set the number to 1 okay so i get like a curve that is in between these these two okay and then i will need to create a line that is coming from here that's a perpendicular to this and intersecting this location and this line should extend and be able to meet this curve and this curve okay so we can do that by using line perpendicular from curve okay and then click on point on curve okay so select curve and make sure that the object intersect is turned on object set intersect and turn on and then let's uh, extend this and right click go to align to object and let's drag this over here okay so this new line is a more accurate representation of this part over here so i'm going to delete the whole curve and use this instead okay now let's create the cross section here okay the cross section here will be created using circle again and circle diameter okay so make sure intersect is uh turned on on the object snap so click here and click here okay so we got it okay okay now i think i need to review this okay and then Let's do the sweep tool rail to create this surface. Okay, so first rail, second rail, this will be the cross section. Enter. So we got this shape here. Okay, and click OK. Okay, now I would like to create the blend over here. Okay, create the blend over here. And in order to do that, I will want to create a curve that is uh, intersecting these two surfaces, and we can achieve that by using this command, object intersection. So select this and this, enter. We have created a curve here. Let's turn the points on. You can see that there are lots of points. So let's reduce the points, okay, by using rebuild curve non-uniform okay enter so you can see now i have um, a curve that is having far less control points okay okay now let's create a circle here and a circle here that will be used to create a surface over here that will be used to trim off this region okay so let's use circle around curve click on this snap it to here so make sure it's not bumping into that button there something like that okay and we need to create another one here 
because I want to have a variable blend. Okay, so maybe the back one, maybe uh, I think I can have it bigger. Let's try. Okay, something like that. Okay. Okay, you can see that the curves actually goes inwards. Okay, into the body as well. Okay. So now I'm going to create a surface here using sweep one rail. Okay, so select rail. This is my rail. Okay, and these are the cross sections. And we might have to adjust the seam. Okay. I think something like that. Okay, enter and do a close sweep. So you sweep to the other side as well. And click OK. Okay. Yeah, so you got something like that. Okay, the purpose of this is to use it as a cutting object so that we can get a gap around here. Okay, and to do that, we can use the trim or the split. Okay, I think the split will be easier. So let's use the split. Okay, so click split, select object split is this and this. Okay, enter cutting object is this. Enter. So I'm going to select this and delete it away and then click on this region. We don't need them anymore. Okay. So I only need these two surface for time being so that I can create some nice blend over here. So let's hide the rest. Okay. So I got something like that. And I want to create a blend over here. Okay. I reckon the easiest way is to just cut this into half, create a blend on one side, and then mirror the objects on this half onto the other side. Okay. So we can easily do that by creating a rectangular plate. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to click the trim. So select cutting object is this. Object to trim is this and this. Okay, and I don't need this anymore. So press delete. Okay, to create a surface over here that is nicely blended. To these are edges. I think mm, in this case here, I will want to create a cross section curve here and here, and then use an appropriate surface creation tool to create this. Okay, so let's create the blend curve over here using the adjustable curve blend. Okay. Okay. Then we do this other side. And make sure that for one and two, because we want to have a nice blended result, I'm setting both one and two to curvature. Okay, so click OK. And then let's try the sweep to rail okay so first rail second rail just a cross section cross section and you notice that the sweep to rail have options for us to match the continuity okay so i think i want to set a and b to both curvature okay for nice curvature blends okay so click okay and then let's mirror this onto the other side. Okay. To hide the curve for a while. Okay. 
let's join these services, see whether they are able to join. Analyze H2, show H, okay. No H, okay, that's good. Okay, so uh, let's turn on the zebra. So analyze surface zebra. Okay, as you can see, the blending are all matched to curvature as shown here. And over here, okay, it seems to be quite okay. If the matching here is not desirable, we might have to do our own manual matching using the match surface, okay. But over here, it seems to be quite fine. So, okay, with that, I come to the end of this part. There will be subsequent parts to this video demo. See you. Bye.